Hello and welcome everyone. Good morning. I pretty much just woke up, so rolled out of bed, decided to make this video for you guys. Since today, as you can tell by the title, that I will be sharing my skincare routine with you. But before we get started with the video, I just want to say that this is sponsored by Proven Skincare. I would not make this my skincare routine though if I did not actually like the products, I'd just make it like a review kind of a thing. So these are products that I plan on continuing to use even after this whole video is done and everything just because it seems like it's been really working on my skin. Personally, I don't have a lot of issues with my skin. It's not really ever been really like a struggle for me or anything. My dad's had really good skin and I think that I was blessed and got his genetics in that area. So I've never really dealt with acne or anything like that. I would say the worst that I get is super, super dry skin. Like in high school, I used to get like really dry patches on my face and makeup will sometimes like stick to those patches weird. And it's like really random like here or I used to get them on my forehead. And in the summertime when I would tan, they would be like hyper pigmented spots. So I'd have like a random like really dark brown spot on somewhere on my face and I don't know if it has to do with the dryness or it had to do with something else. I really haven't dealt with anything like that since high school though, but I also get like rashes and that kind of a thing pretty easily. Like I'm super sensitive to poison ivy and any of that, like even just being near poison ivy, it can be airborne is what the doctors told me. And if you are super sensitive like I am, um, you can get a rash just from something like that. So those are the kind of things that I deal with. Dryness, and dryness then goes hand in hand with like wrinkles, so I'm not trying to age prematurely, so I moisturize my face so much and that is like a key part of my personal skincare routine. Let me just tell you everything that I do starting in the morning and then what I do at night as well. It's pretty easy, I would say. I really don't like washing my face or taking care of it, but I know that I should. It's just like a hassle, especially at the end of the day. Like, I like it in the morning because it's a refreshing thing to do, but at night, by the time that I'm ready to go to bed, I just want to sleep, honestly, and I could pretty much pass out wherever with any makeup on, but... I know that's not good for my skin, so I do force myself to wash my face every night. It's very, very rare if I sleep with my makeup on, and I usually really regret it in the morning time because I feel like crap and I usually have a bunch of mascara in my eyes, so... I do do it, even though it's not my favorite thing in the world. I know some people just like love washing their face, but when it's time to go to bed, I just want to go to bed, but anyways... Starting off in the morning, as you can see, this is the morning. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. Right away in the morning, I will go into the bathroom and the first thing I do is I tone my face with Witch Hazel, which I just got this from Target. It's not anything fancy. I just put a little bit on a cotton ball here and I just put it all over my face. Really like and the troubled areas, I really like scrub at it, like on my nose here in the corners and then on the chin here where I normally get like little pimples and then my forehead from having bangs. So I get those areas really good and just kind of do all over. I go down on my neck a little bit too because I remember getting ready in the bathroom with my mom when I was little or even not little, but just living at home and she's always very vigilant at taking care of not just her face, but like her neck skin and like her little decolletage here. She always said that that was very important to keep moisturized as well as your face. So that's done. Feels refreshing. Takes off any extra dirt that I've got going on there. And then sometimes, not every single day, but sometimes I will take an ice cube too and I will put it in a washcloth and run it along under my eyes. It helps with like under eye bags and also helps um, like shrink pores down. So I do that after I've cleaned my face 
with the toner situation so that you're not closing in dirt on it if you get what I'm saying it also just kind of like helps wake you up and I feel like it's helping moisturize as well since it's just like water that's going on your face then and then once I've finished either with the ice cube or if I'm not doing the ice cube that day the witch hazel I take my day cream from proven which I'm going to tell you about after I finish my little morning routine here and I just use whatever residual moisture on my face from either the witch hazel or the ice cube and it kind of helps to spread around the day cream I feel like so I just take like one pump and try to be as gentle as possible and this has an SPF in it so I don't have to add an extra one which is nice and then the rest down my neck And then that's pretty much all I do for prepping my skin in the morning, but um, I'm really loving Proven Skincare and I did want to share this with you guys as my actual skincare routine. I just think that it's a really cool concept, what they do, they have a, like a little quiz that you go online, you take the quiz, they customize a skincare routine specifically for you based on like 27 factors including where you live, your environment your ethnic background and then your lifestyle as well so it's pretty cool they factored in the pollution in the air since I live in Chicago I saw and that's really interesting it's kind of something that I feel like people don't really think a lot about when they're thinking about their skincare routine but it's definitely a good point to bring up and they're pulling from like a pool of 14,000 ingredients or so to create this custom skincare for you and it's also the most scientific skincare on the market created by Stanford dermatologists and chemists and they base it off of a proprietary database called the Skin Genome Project which is the largest in the world too so pretty cool and they are a non-toxic brand too which is always great since you're putting it on your skin which is the largest organ of your body they don't contain any parabens or formaldehyde or anything like that once you're done taking the quiz online to get your skincare line customized to you you can see all of the ingredients that they are going to add to your personal products so that you know exactly what you're getting into which is pretty important and what I think is really cool about this company is that you can get your skincare changed like as you grow and change because at different points in your life you're going to need different things and be concerned about different things in your life and in your skincare routine so it's something that evolves with you and you can continue to take the quiz and they will change the products up and the ingredients based on your needs at that time so that's pretty cool i just got three products when they sent me my line and this what i put on in the morning is the personalized anti-pollution spf 30. i've seriously been loving this i took this to mexico with me and that's also what's really cool is that these containers are a good size for travel like I didn't get any hassle in the airport bringing my SPF my face wash and my night cream with me so that's also very nice because I travel a lot and it's always like what do I bring with me if these containers are too big to fly with you know kind of a thing or how am I gonna like pump out a perfect amount for that trip so this just kind of eliminates that headache but yeah it also shows like the ingredients right here on the back there's literally four ingredients on here so I think that that's pretty cool and it's made in San Francisco California so nice right here in the USA um, like I was saying anyways I brought this to Mexico with me and I did not get a face sunburn once but my shoulders were a little bit red Andrew got totally burnt, so I think that this definitely helped prevent that from happening to me. So, pretty grateful there. We don't need any sun damage or anything. I did not have an SPF that I was wearing every single day until I got this. So, 
pretty happy about that. Then at night, what I will do, I only like wash, wash my face with my cleanser once a day and I do that at night just because I feel like that makes the most sense personally for me. Like I'll have makeup on sometimes during the day so I need to wash that off or I just need to like wash off the day, you know what I'm saying? You know, the filth that you accumulate on your face from just living. So yeah, that's when I wash my face and I use the cleanser that they sent me as well, personalized cleanser. And how cute are these bottles? Like they just look super sleek and amazing. So that's cool. Um, it just says massage a pump of cleanser onto wet skin, then rinse well with warm water. I mean, you know how to wash your face, honestly. So that's that. Pretty easy. And honestly, it's really helped clear up a lot of the little pimples that I had. And I, like, if you look at pictures, I don't really get pimples very often. I mean, it happens to everybody, but... What you couldn't really tell in pictures is what's under my bangs, and that is where I do tend to break out more often than anywhere else on my face. Just I feel like because I have hair there 24-7, so you know how that works. So anyways, this has been one thing that's really helped clear up my skin, and I'm very surprised because that's always been something that I've dealt with. Like, even in high school, that was where I would tend to get breakouts more than anywhere else on my face so that's cool just wash my face with this at the end of the day then i will use the witch hazel again i love this stuff and i swear by it it's like the best toner ever and i do it to andrew's face at the end of the day too so for guys and girls it's super cheap super easy get it at target i love it so I wash my face, use witch hazel again, and then with the leftover witch hazel on my face, I will use that to help spread around the night cream that Proven sent me as well for my personalized skincare. And it's just personalized night cream repair. I really, really love these containers. I know I already said that, but they just are so cute. It says massage a dime-sized amount of night repair cream into cleansed face and neck in the evenings, which I also do. I bring it down on my neck and usually right here on my chest as well. And it just looks like this, so I can show you. It's nice and thick, which I love from a night cream because I want it to actually feel like it's moisturizing me instead of just like a day cream where it's pretty easy to wear and it's already like dried into my skin. It doesn't feel sticky or anything, so that's nice. That's pretty much my skincare routine in a nutshell. Those are the things that I do on a regular basis. I do do face masks once in a while. Um, one of my favorite ones is this Teamy Detox Mask, which you guys maybe saw in a video before. It smells really great. It's matcha, lemongrass, and clay, and it just smells nice. It also, I feel like, is one of the few masks that I own that actually do something for my skin. Like, it kind of burns when I first put it on, but in, like, a good way. I feel like it's cleaning. It's not, like, painful or anything, but... Yeah, I love this one. It's great. I don't use it very often, but when I do, um, most of the time I won't put it all over my face. There are some times that I do. It's just really whatever I'm feeling, but if I don't feel like putting it all over my face, which is a lot of the time, I'll just put it in like the more problem areas, like my chin and then like around my nose and up here on my forehead. So. That's what I use this for. And then also when I'm traveling, I have a couple items that I've really been loving bringing. And um, I do bring this little mask. I got these honestly at Walmart. Um, it came like a pack of three. There was like a clay one as well and a charcoal one. This is the Dead Sea Minerals Gel Face Mask. So it's supposed to be a hydrating one. That's why I've been bringing this with me whenever I travel because I feel like my skin just takes a beating whenever I travel and it needs all the moisture that I can. I like to drink a lot of water and when I'm traveling it's really hard to do that just because... I can't be filling up a water bottle all the time and also because I will have to pee 24-7 then. I hate like getting up to pee on the plane because I don't want to like step over somebody or ask somebody to like move 
So usually I'll just sit there and suffer like as long as possible. And even if I'm on the outer seat, I don't want to like have to stand by the bathroom door if somebody's in there. And so a lot of times I'll like be looking and waiting for somebody to come out. And then once they do come out, somebody gets up before I do. And then it's just like, you know, the circle. So anyways, I don't drink enough water <laughs> when traveling. So I feel like this helps. Hopefully, I feel like it does. I usually just put it like under my eyes and whatever right before I get in the shower for like 10, 15 minutes whenever I'm traveling. It's a nice little small container, so that's cool. Love that. And then I obviously can't bring my giant witch hazel bottle whenever I'm traveling, so I do love this Pixie Glow Tonic toner. It's very nice. It smells really nice as well. Like kind of like rosy and yeah I love this stuff honestly I could buy the entire like big bottle but I feel like the witch hazel really does about the same thing so I'm gonna stick with the witch hazel but I do like these little bottles it's kind of like a nice little treat for myself when I'm traveling just to kind of pamper myself a little bit and then once this empties out I've just been filling it up with witch hazel, so it's a great little to-go bottle as well. And that pretty much concludes my skincare routine, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty simple, so if you have the same skin type, um, maybe you can take some of these and apply it to your own skincare routine. You guys should definitely check out Proven and even just take the test because it's free and it's pretty interesting, I feel like, that they just ask you so many like different questions that you wouldn't necessarily think would apply to your skincare but it totally does like when you really think about it with skincare i feel like it's such a trial and error thing just trying to figure out what works best for you but that's the cool thing about proven is that you're not really doing trial and error you're taking a test and then actual professionals are whipping something together just especially for you so that's pretty cool the witch hazel I feel like is gonna be good for most skin types honestly like it's just a good toner anyways you guys I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that it was helpful uh, let me know what you guys want to see next I'm planning on getting my hair cut soon as you can see my bangs are really grown out I'm probably gonna trim them myself today just because my hair cuts in like a couple weeks and I actually can't see so i plan on doing a video with my hairdresser danielle because she's the bomb and people always ask like what i ask for and that kind of a thing when i go get my hair cut so i feel like having an actual hairdresser for this video or for that video will be helpful and she can kind of maybe give you some tips on what to ask for when you're looking for a specific style so you guys can look forward to that otherwise i hope you guys are having a fantastic day whatever you're doing and i love you guys catch you in the next one